Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an milliamp reader to your own tech laser engraver. Something like this. You guys all seen it. And your power supplies on your own tech laser engraver, there is a little basically milliamp reader. Okay? So, what we're going to be installing, we're going to be installing something like this. Okay? This is a third party device that connects to your power supply and it's a simple installation. I will be going through it with you guys and you can see everything live from your machine. Okay? So let's get into it and show you how to do it. First, what you will need to buy, to purchase, is going to be this display screen here. Okay, you can buy this from Amazon from the seller Cloud Ray Laser. Basically, it is a little attachment that you can hook up through Ethernet cable through your power supply. Your most of your power supplies have this Ethernet cable, which is zoom in, you'll see it something like this. Now there's a switch. On this side here we will be talking about it okay there's a switch is to control your actual power so on the power meter that you're going to be installing that is a min and maximum you can disable this or you can actually control your min and maximum through a nozzle okay which is basically to a turn nozzle I call it a nozzle at least. So what I mean, if you turn, if you keep this guy to the left, which is, is here, very small, uh, this guy, it will only display it, but the min and max will not function. Okay, and if you turn it to the left, right, you will be able to control your laser min and max from here. Basically, not min max. I mean, you can let's say if your laser is doing a hundred from your machine from your light burn, and if you turn this down, your laser will not be able, will not do hundred anymore. The power from the laser is gonna reduce. I recommend you not to enable this option. Just use it as a display. But if you have a different reason, you want to control the power setting here. Go ahead, enable the option. Remember, you enable this option, and by mistake, if you have this on minimum, your laser will not fire. Okay, so this I use this only for a display, and I did not enable this guy. So, again, the device will come in something like this. This is the, the dimension of the device, and it comes in with a long Ethernet cable. Okay, uh, all you gotta do is just hook up this guy to your power supply, and I'm gonna show you the process of what I did. So first, what I did, it was I picked a spot. I'm gonna put it somewhere over here. Okay, due to it is Ethernet cable, so I'm not worrying about. There's no high voltage or anything going to this guy. It's just reading, so I want it close to my thing, and it's gonna be all the way, you know, all the way down. So it's not gonna just this guy will be sticking out. Okay. So I can see it in front of my eye too at the same time. Now, uh, you got to make sure whatever you're placing this, there's no wires in the way. I did look. So we're going to remove this guy. So when I cut anything here, I will not hit anything by mistake and damage this controller. To remove this, is very easy. There's two screws in the back here. Okay, you're going to have to unscrew them and this will come out. There's a plug you're going to unplug. So bear with me. Let me remove the screws. So I did remove them. They look like this. So there's two of them, basically. Yeah. The way they attach, they attach into the control like this and you screw them to lock them here. There's one over here in the back, bottom and one over here. Make sure every time you do anything like this, your machine is unplugged from power, turn the power on and off, just to kill all the circuits. Okay, so we're gonna remove this guy. And it comes out. There's a plug. Just make sure easy. There's a little knob. 
there's a little plug you're gonna click here to open it up and this is the controller basically in here this is where it's gonna go attached this way and those were the thing I was talking about usually they're like this that attach like this so when you unscrew it you get loosened but when you put it back in you're gonna have to screw it so you can basically tie it to whatever the piece of steel which is this guy here okay so it's easy it does remove with like a clip it goes like this just don't over tie it so you will not be breaking these up because it's made out of plastic okay so after marking we're gonna start cutting these off and then we'll show you how this will work okay so here's me after I cut it okay to fit this in I'm gonna put a little sticker in here a blue sticker with Omtech sign on it just so it can look a little better just because I did kind of nip these edges off I don't want nothing to show but we'll just put the sticker and show you how it look like so this is how it looks is recessed in and this is just a home tech sign and then the controller is gonna get sit something like this okay it look perfect and then uh, this is my hundred dollar bill gift for my son for my Christmas so he says I'm 99.99999% gold okay so I will hook it up and show you how we're really gonna hook up and we'll go from there okay so I removed these panels here's where the cable goes so it is firm in okay uh, this is not the original cable that came in with it the original cable cable came in with it it was very long I don't want to go all over the place this is the shortest cable I have just an ether Ethernet E5 cable but I did kind of end up zip tying that somewhere over there with all the other mess over here so I'm gonna run out it through here go this way and this is how it looks it's gonna hook up you gotta be careful not to make it very close to your sensor there's a sensor in here I was lucky I didn't go that close to that sensor okay so it's hooked up to Ethernet cable and we'll show you how it works and give me a minute let me close this mess up okay so here's our look we got hooked up and I'm gonna turn the laser on right now show you guys so of course the display does not turn on unless you turn the laser on turn the laser on you can see I got this plate here and the same thing is gonna be on this side so now on my controller I do have the same display I'm seeing downstairs so this is the finished product I hope you like it please leave a comment if you need any help remember this switch here only works if you turn that switch on I do not recommend you turn on because you will lose power again I hope you like this video thank you very much